Welcome to the Game Logical Institute. This may be the funnest unboxing I'm going to do. Once upon a time, I had a game called Tacticum that way back I would print out of the computer on these canvas paper for the grid, and I had just bought blank, blank dice to use as the pieces. Now, it, played, it was pretty good, played well. Uh, the shapes were pleasant, it was easy to move along. The little graphics on the side. But anyway, I'd go to conventions, I would sell this in a plain cardboard tube with a label taped on it, everything, or, or stuck on it, everything I could do that I could manufacture from the home. Well, then we did the Kickstarter for the tin version because I wanted to get this out to more people. Kickstarter worked, and we had a very small board, and we used little wooden squares to make that work. But we got enough backers from that that I was able to think, all right, let's go, let's go bigger. Let's see if we can't make a full-size Tacticum that would be a full production, actually from the factory, start to finish, rule book and everything. Well, that day has arrived. Many of you watching this were our, this is here because of the backers that have at any stage. We sold over a hundred going to conventions like 12 years ago and, and a lot of spots making the tin versions, buying the print and play, and then the Tacticum Invictus that a lot of you helped realize now that we have it. So this is the first two from the factory. The others are waiting for their addresses to be locked in and sent, but it's time to it's time to get in here and take a reveal now. This may take a minute. There is a lot of tape on here. We may speed this portion of the video up. Little bonus tease right here. All right. Look at that. Boom. All right, the real deal. Here's the back of the box. Oh, there's my lights. Look at this. This is so cool. Cellophane. All right, let's get to opening. All right, how many of you are thumbnail openers on the cellophane? And of course, one thing I've really been waiting for is opening this to get the new box smell, the new game smell. All right, lid's looking good. All right. Oh, there it is. All right, we've got the candidate course book. Oh, this looks great. I need a I need a camera over my back here. Hey, what? Let's use the magic of the streamer and let's give you guys a better view of what's going on here. The colors came out great. It's clear. The maps are good, even this colored one. Nothing is overly dark. All right. And of course, yep, got to smell it. All right, so this has the 10 the core, the core rules and the 10 two-player scenarios. And then we've got a crinkle here, but this is got the solo setups in here. So we've got prisoner escort, which of course was done by backers that uh, we worked out together on that one and then secure the frontier. So what we did in the back of the book, um, we've got the story, the kind of the narrative that was from the Kickstarter page on the back here. And then we've got some blank boards 
and an area that you could use to put in rules for the scenario that you develop. So some information about the scenario designer. We've got the punch board. All right, so we've got these individual pieces. So for instance, how do we use the tide coming up along the way? And we've got the fort. And we've got the swamp. Swamp's fun to place on the board because that's going to interfere with cavalry. Cavalry can't go through it, but your infantry can. And then, of course, we've got some other water obstacles that are right here that you can play on the board. And you can set up for your own settings. And then these individual general markers. Right, so the white, the black army, and the blue and the red. So we've got all these guys. So this is great when you're doing the battles where you're working with uh, two armies. Let's see if I can find my corner here. Right, so when you're doing uh, on, the, on the big Invictus board and each side is really like two legions are battling and you're doing two generals. So that works out good. We'll do some uh, show and tell on how to run the scenarios. We'll make some videos for that. So those will be coming. All right, now this is just an insert that they came up with to help the board and everything from shuffling around too much. So that's something you can decide to keep uh, in the game or not. All right, here's the game board. Let's kind of, we'll hide that for a minute. All right, let's see how this worked out. All right, so we got the, oh, this is great. All right, so here we go. We've got the the two individual boards, the terrain board and the standard board, and it folds just right so you don't have to have the whole board out while you're playing. This is great. All right, and then you open it up, of course, and you have the full-size Invictus board. Multiple armies, cavalry moving around, even skirmishers that we get to, uh, what was that, scenario eight? I think we posted that out with the skirmishers coming in. All right, so that looks great. Folds nicely, edges are good. Nice fold over work. Mm, got that production smell, the board. Get our manuals over here. Oh, a little our tease here. All right, now here, this was because of the backers. You guys reached our first stretch goal, and we have got this really cool cloth board. Now, like I was saying in some of the updates, it's got some creases in it from being stored, but they pop right out, right? So you just give that a spread out, and you're ready to play. And uh, so especially if you're going to your reenactment camps or you're doing some of the, uh, just make it easier to travel with, right? Because you can scrunch this up with a couple bags of, the, of the, the army tiles here and you're good to go. All right, here is the cloth board. I know, everyone wants to see the armies. I want to see the armies too. All right, so we'll start with our black and white armies. Let's see if we can't get a, a nice big zoom in on this one. Let's see what we can show you here. All right. Nice and, nope, oh, there we go. Okay. So these are not, look at there, there's cavalry. Got the cavalry piece right here. We got the infantry. Infantry, cavalry, infantry. Oh, I guess they counted when they put these in. Let's find a commander. There's the other cavalry. There he is. All right. So there are our three types right here. Let's, let's put it in my other hand so I can get it to the camera. All right. There we go. Nice shine. Look at that. That's going to... see how that's looking on the board right there oh nice and shiny that looks excellent moves well all right let's see what's going on in the white army here all 
All right. Similar, all right, there is our commander, our cavalry, and the infantry. So better do the same thing here. Let you see that up there working. All right, that is looking good. And then, as you recall, we went to deluxe for everybody because there were not really many backers at the standard, and it didn't make sense to just do a run of just a few games. So we bumped everybody, brought the price down some. Let's look at our red army. This is going to be bold. I know a lot of you are going to like the idea of the traditional kind of red versus blue. So you can do that since you're kind of like in training mode, right? All right, let's find our commander. So you're going to be the last guy? He is. All right. And there is the Red Forces. Again, looking great. Um, so skirmishers, when you're playing skirmishers, they're going to just be uh, other tiles. You just play them upside down. Sometimes the Rebels are that way too, so the shield's not distracting there. And we've got the blue army coming up here. All right. Cavalry shield. And where is the commander? All right. Looking good. Cavalry. Uh-oh. Got a bit of a rub on that piece. Didn't quite come out of the machine. Into, there's a commander. All right. All right, and there is your blue forces. And let's see them together. There's blue and red armies looking good. Get those on the board and the final piece of course in the box for the different scenarios is in particular uh, the secure the frontier right you've got to have all these stone and wood so that you can make it and make the walls and get those stone towers up and the wooden fence sections in between those and the gate posts so there I am fiddling with blocks where you can't see there we go uh, to make the wall so these are nice good heft good size they fit in the squares nicely on the board good we got the trees that the archers are hiding behind or shooting from in the other scenarios uh, and when you're doing the resupply mission we've got the grain for the grain wagons and of course, we've discussed <laughs> these gray ones uh, if they couldn't be used as war elephants. But we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to work on figuring out what the rules are going to be for that because you know one of the struggles uh, with the war elephants is they uh, they do have their own mind and they're not really I don't think that excited about running into large groups of people with big pointy sticks. Like cavalry are not either but you know once they're mad who knows who they're gonna say friend or foe and knocking a lot of folks out division in the inside as you saw we had the cloth board was folded up in here wooden cubes here had your armies laid out here so it's a good solid insert and you can decide if you want to how you want to work it going forward put it out take more stuff in the rule books I don't know. This is all pretty exciting. So there we go. I will get some more. Now I can really take some good pictures and make some videos of the scenarios without, you know, the blank black ones that I had where I glued the symbols onto the top of them. And that didn't just looked a little cheesy. And uh, let's see. Let's get the Ford out here. So you can just imagine doing this. And you've got your resupply, let's see, got your resupply back here for secure the frontier when you're playing on the table, right, or setting it up here when you are doing the resupply mission. 
getting that lined up right there. And then we teased about the seashore. Well, something that could be fun with this one, and what I really wanted it for was, you could start here, and you could set up your battle so that as you are going along, every so many turns, this advances. And if any of your troops get caught in the water, you've got a rising tide. You could even play this as having a river on one side. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of scenarios and variations you guys come up with with all these components in here. There's really no limit to what you guys can come up with. All right, thanks for sharing the opening of this game with me. It's, uh, it's, it's very cool. Uh, Dodger Collingwood signing out.